Yo, what up, family? It is your boy Mikey coming to you with another new video. Now, if this is the first time that you're seeing this face, you should totally hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I do post something new. Join the family, we're close knit, and we all love each other. And if you're a returning family member, welcome on back. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna try and be short and simple and to the point. Basically, I posted a video a while back. It was a very short one, probably only about like 30 seconds or so. It was an edit that I made myself, a little VHS, like old school type looking edit of just a couple of clothes that I was wearing because I wanted to do like a little mini lookbook from my Instagram. And basically, this tutorial is gonna be showing you how to get that type of look. So a lot of you guys were asking how I did it, so I just wanted to, you know, show you guys exactly how I did it. So we're gonna get right on into it. So basically, the editing software that I use is Final Cut Pro 10. I do use the Adobe Suite for a lot of stuff too, because I use the Adobe Suite for Photoshop to make my thumbnails. But I don't really use Premiere Pro that often for videos that I make. I use it here and there, but Final Cut is the main editing software that I usually use for all of my videos that I make. So I already made a new project. I'm already in it now. There's nothing on the timeline so far, but I'm just gonna show you the basic edits that I did to make it look like vintage -y and have that like VHS look. And a lot of it is not even like additional plugins. It's plugins that are already gonna be inside of Final Cut itself. So, I downloaded some old footage from an old video that I did a while back. It was one of my first ever lookbooks and it has a good amount of scenes that are, you know, clipped together that I can just grab and use. So let me go ahead and look through here. Okay, let's just do like 30 seconds or so. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detach this audio because I don't need the audio that was in the original video. And my timeline is a little bit short. So there's a couple ways that you can like zoom it in. Since I have a trackpad on my MacBook Pro, I can just go like that and then and like use my two fingers to like basically zoom in on the trackpad and it zooms in on the timeline. Or you can go over here to the change the appearance of the clips button and then you just click on it and then you can use this top one that has the minus and plus to zoom in on the actual timeline. So I just wanna make it this like a little bit bigger just so you can see exactly what I'm putting on here. Other than that, everything should be fine. Okay, so the next thing that I did was I went over to the effects tab. There's a bunch of different preset effects that are already inside of Final Cut. Once you have Final Cut, they just give it to you. And so you don't always have to, you know, buy these additional plugins and things like that. You can just try your best to make it with what you got. And that's basically what I did. So besides a couple other things that I'll explain in a minute. But basically what I did was, the first thing I did was look up Prism. And basically what Prism does, it kind of gives off that like RGB effect. So it kind of like split the red, green, and blue so you can make it more prominent. And then if you highlight over the actual effect, it shows you it in the preview up above. So if I drag that over and put it onto my actual clip, as you can see, it just added the Prism effect right on top of it. And before, it looked like that. And then when you add it, it splits the RGB. So it has that RGB effect on it. You can put whatever amount that you want, but usually with those like old time looking videos, they, it has like a decent amount. But I just wanna put maybe like around like 10 or so. You don't have too much because then it starts looking kind of funky. After Prism, I put Film Grain. And basically Film Grain, it gives that kind of like I don't know how to describe it. It just gives it that old like look, if you know what I mean. It, like that old type, you know, timey feel. But when you put the film grain on there, there's two different ones. There's iMovie grain and then realistic grain. iMovie grain kind of changes the like saturation and the colors a little bit. So I just stick with realistic grain so it stays to what the true video was. It doesn't change like the colors and everything like that, as you can see. Sometimes iMovie grain does look okay. It makes it look old, but I just stick to realistic because there's gonna be other things that I'm gonna be doing to make it look like that vintage -y feel. You can leave it at 100 or you can like turn it down a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it at 100 because that, you know, that gives it that VHS look when you leave it up that high. So I have grain, I have prism. The next thing that I did was I kind of changed the colors around. So there is a plugin called Colorboard that automatically comes with Final Cut. 
and with color board you can like change the exposure change the colors and things like that and there's different boards that you can have so there's like a regular color board there's also you have like color wheels color curves and the hue and saturation and you can use any one of those to switch it up but I just used the basic color board and what I did was I turned down the saturation a little bit and the shadows and I turned it down a little bit in the highlights and then brought it up in the midtones so if you turn it down here, see like if you turn it all the way down, it you lose all the color, but I only turned it down like a little bit. And then I turned it down a little bit in the highlights as well too. But in the midtones, I turned it up just like a little bit. And I used the main master one and messed around with that too till I got it to my liking. Cause I don't wanna turn it down all the way cause then it goes grayscale. But I just turned it down a little bit so you lose some of that color. Because you know, they didn't have a bunch of vibrant colors when they had the VHS tapes and stuff like that. I also turned down the exposure in my highlights. But then I boosted it up in my shadows a little bit to give it that like contrasty look. And then I also did it in the master one as well too. I also switched the color around a little bit in the color tab. For the master color, I actually pulled it all the way to magenta and actually turned, like put it up just a little bit. And then for the shadows, I brought it into like the yellows and then I just messed around to see what like would look good. And then I brought it down some a, a little bit as well too. And then if I play it back, scrub that through. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did at first. But I'm not done. I'm gonna try and be quicker now because I don't wanna take up your time. <laughs> but basically what I did was after that, like it still has that like vintagey look, but not all of the plugins inside of Final Cut, you know, are the best to give off that look. So what I actually did was I just went to like one of those websites where you can download a YouTube video and I actually looked up YouTube and then just type in VHS overlay there's a bunch of different ones that people have uploaded. They have the download links sometimes in their actual description box. Or you can go to one of those websites where you can actually download the video and you just put the link and it'll download it. And basically, I just grabbed one that I liked. There's a bunch of different ones on YouTube that you can use. I already downloaded it and brought it into Final Cut. And basically what you do is they have a, cut, a couple where they're not, some aren't long and then some are short. It just depends. Like I have a couple here. Like I have one that's only about like, mm, like 15 seconds long, but then I have another one that's about like a, a while, like maybe two minutes. So what you're gonna do is put that on top of your original video that has all the edits in it. And then, you know, just cut this to size because you don't need all of this. What you want to do is because once you put this on top, make sure the clip is highlighted and then you're going to go over to the show the, the video inspector tab and then you can change the blend mode. So when it's normal, it's already on there, but there's a whole bunch of different ones that you can use. But what I did was I used screen because then when you use screen, it blends in with the original video that's below it. So once you hit screen, bam that vintage overlay that you downloaded is now mixed into the original video that you have below. And then this is what it ends up looking like. And then basically I just added music and it gave me the edit that I posted a while ago. And that's basically all you really do. I would basically just use the plugins that are in Final Cut, like use Prism, change the colors around to give off that retro type vibe. And that's pretty much it. I hope I explained that kind of well. I hope I didn't explain it too fast. If I did, just let me know. I don't mind talking to you guys in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Links are in the description box down below. My store, my social media, all things like that and more, okay? And if you haven't already subscribed, join the family, okay? I respond to all the comments. I talk to you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to follow me on Instagram. Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on anything, okay? I usually respond back to everybody. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye. You're the one I'm looking for, You're the one I'm thinking of. You're the one that I will love. I wonder if I pass across in this world. I wonder where you are enough. I wonder if you for this first. I wonder what your body looks like. Will you look sublime? Words I